ladies hi guys so I'm here today to do a tutorial about so like mixed media it's just a mini tutorial kind of like um, and make this uh, look like a mixed media and then you don't have to even use those fancy you know pastes and spatulas and and all the things that you see it you just can do using things around the house I think that you probably have in your crafty room so I just gonna help you guys to just uh, you know figure out a few things like me and then we're gonna just need a few stuff that you can just gather um, things may you might have you know so let's do this um, and then I'm gonna show you guys also the things that I got from scapebooking.com it's gonna be really fast because I made the videos before and they all like too long so I just decided to do over so let's do it okay so I gonna use three tags uh, this is the cardboard from a, uh, like a lid a box lid I just cut the tag shape and one of them I pass a layer of gesso but you can use the any any acrylic paint like this craft smart anything if you have anything acrylic or that could be your base your primer you just can use it because if you try to add ink on top of something that doesn't have a primer it's gonna be uh, like a sponge it's gonna be you know uh, sucking all the ink and then you're not gonna be able to uh, cover properly so it's better always have a coat of something if you're doing straight to a paper it's fine you know like um you can add ink to a paper but if you're gonna get something more like uh with the surface kind like metal or any other you know um material like a gesso or you know resin or something is gonna be better always to have a coat so and then you can we're gonna use those micro um you know hot buy tags um we can do um we're gonna do one with gesso one with just the paper plane we're gonna stick a paper here glue some paper and then this one we're gonna leave the way it is so you guys see it so i'm gonna choose uh like i, I mean tell you three techniques really simple so um let's we're gonna use some journaling cards um we're gonna use a few you know the little ones too and then the the stamps and the stencil okay so i got like a bunch of stencils from scapybooking.com uh there is the place where i purchase everything from a mixed media because actually to me it's easier to go to one place and get everything and scrapbooking.com works with all the brands like Fina Bear, uh lindy's gang and team Holtz and you know, all the you know the stamps and stuff so that's why i like to go there and they always give you a discount um and then give you freebies so it's we, we always gonna win it's a win-win situation so um let's start with the stencil quickly so this is the prima flowers i mean this one comes with the flowers it's just a, a stencil a small one with uh, some writing and then some flowers here and then comes with a, uh, some flowers it's just pretty you know it's like a small it's not that big so you can fit them pretty much anywhere um this other one is the like a bricks i love to work with brick walls it always can give you your know, dimension and you know it's easier to use and this is like some shapes and designs uh, also from tim holtz all these are tim holtz this is the flower laces like it's so beautiful the musical notes look how cool we always can add this to journaling and anywhere to do the vintage look of course uh, the honeycomb my favorite of course and i have another one here they are like a branches and so see pretty much i bought all the team holds they were like on clearance last month so they are really expensive so i just took advantage of my you know all the discounts and then i bought this little set of three which is the really cute with the roses the flowers and then the little you know like a 
I think I call this like a um, antique antique like gate or something yeah so this is the three you know little ones they also can be easier to use on this thing on the on the tag because of the size and I got a few more things I mean um, the large uh, brick wall and then the tiny ones look how cute this one and this is from honeybee stamps and this is this one is for um, from J designs by Jamie I think it's Jamie and then the crafters workshop .com. everything from uh, scrapbooking.com of course and this is Fina Bear elementals uh, also like a honeycomb kind of style so that's for the stencil and then the, we have the stamps which is like a, the prima princess uh, cling stamps this is beautiful you can do watercolor with this one it's a really beautiful stencil I mean stamp look how big it's really big and then you can do you know a lot of uh, cool stuff and then I got the little ones from all from the Pina Bear. Uh, they all like um the, the little ones are is good for tags like these. Even though for big stamp, big canvas, I use them on corners, something like that. So I have the lunar one, the wall, the brick wall, the love potion, some messy secret notes. I think another wall here. And I think I have a couple of more. Let's see. The messy. And this is uh, this is the messy. I'm sorry. And this is the. I think some gothic something. And this is the Tim Holtz, Holtz little one. It's like a kind of like Halloween, but I mean steampunk, you know, style. So this is the little one and then I got this one that's like individual so cool uh, is the cling stamps uh, you know this has all this vintage look style another one from Fina Bear Prima I mean Prima marketing cling stamp in the same collection um, you know this is also cool is the cage with the vintage kind of stuff too music notes and then I do have uh, the this one which is one of my favorite um, you know the creative chaos um, especially for the flower I love the flower uh, this flower here I'm gonna find a lady that she used this and she watercolor she makes beautiful stuff she does mixed media I'm gonna try to find her in the link here in the information below and this is the Fina Bear Elementals. Uh, I love this. This is don't forget to fly, especially the little circles. You can make so many cool things. You guys are gonna see it. Yeah, that's pretty much for the stamps and the stamps. So I have a lot of them. So this is from my haul. Uh, things that I got from Prima Bear, uh, Prima Bear, uh, scrapbooking.com. You know. And then I also got this mat, <laughs> the one that you guys see here, because it everything doesn't the things doesn't stick here. Look how cool! So you just can use them. I I need them a lot. So what are you gonna do here? Let's go for the tutorial though. We're gonna do like a, a bunch of parts of videos because I can't do it in once. It's gonna be too long. Um, so for this one, for the first one, since I already cover a layer of uh, you know uh, primer, so we're just gonna leave the way it is. And then we have this one and the one. For that one, we're gonna use a piece of a uh, journaling card. We're gonna just, you know, make it different. You know, like change. So maybe remember those large uh, 12 by 12 that has only one thing, and you guys don't know what to do with them. So this is an example. But what we're gonna do with the little one, so you guys can have an idea. So we pretty much can cut this and just glue there. Let's see if it, that one is appropriate. Let's see if we can have something else. I was looking for something that has more like, I think I'm gonna do this uh, kind accessories or let me see. I think I'm gonna do this one because it has the whole page and then you can get the whole tag. Uh, so what I was trying to maybe thinking about do here is just tear like there with my finger like that. So see now we have the two pieces and you just want to do the um, 
kind of like was the distress from Tim Holtz. I'm just gonna grab here quickly one um, and then also the inks. So we're just gonna, since we did this, so usually you have to just, uh, you know, use your fingers and get rid of the portions that, or you can just use a little, um, you know, use your scissors and just like, uh, you know, mess up with the paper a little bit, get rid of the, this um, part that is kind of falling apart. So you just leave the, you know, So yeah, once you did this, see it's more like now you can just you can just get rid of it and then do the same thing here for the other side. You're already like doing mixed media here without even know. So now uh, we're just gonna glue it um, straight to the paper. But before we're just gonna do a little bit of uh, you know this place like doing the sides. So you're just gonna. So, uh, where is my dabbing? Here. This also I got from scrapbooking.com. Look, and then they have, uh, I got them for free. It came as a freebie. So, you know, you're just going to do all over here, of course, to give that vintage look. And then, you know, to blend the corners. Because now you cannot see that you just tear the paper down. So, it's just like, see, it looks more kind of like. So, you're just going to glue there. In the corner so it, this is really like quickly sorry my glue looks weird but uh, it's just because it's just because I was dealing with the paint uh, I mean I was doing uh, in uh, using the lens gang ink <laughs> and then it got messed up so you're just gonna glue there really quickly you know following your tag size or so and then you can cut the leftover here if you want you know like just to make see now you have like half kinds and remember the other half that we just cut we can use pieces of it if you want you can just make it like an opening we can put something underneath if you want um for example we can get like another paper that can match or can be like a something um you know to be underneath so you can try to find like maybe this one look how cool and then we could just put like some some portion of them underneath there and then just but for now we're gonna leave blank because we can do something else with the middle once we start to do stuff so do the same thing just dab here a little bit of a you know distress uh, ink and then you see how maybe you can glue like this. Um, maybe you can just pass the glue here. So I'm just going to try to make my glue. Um, it's clogged, sorry. Right? So I'm just going to glue here. And then with the sides. So maybe leaving the opening there. Uh, so just gonna go like something like that. And then you just cut the leftover here. Don't toss it, okay? You always can lose all these little pieces and you know, you don't need to, it's not a waste. You see how cool now you have like kind of like a dimension kind of like effect if you look and then you can lift this a little bit if you want with your fingers you know to give the like uh, 3d you know dimension you see what I'm talking about so kind of like you're already creating the mixed media without even use any any tools or anything don't forget to make your hole here where you want the tag to be because and then when, once you start to add stuff, it's gonna be way too much. So make your like a, you know, oops, I think I did a little creak it too in the side, but we can fix that. Let's just make a bigger one.
it's okay that if it doesn't look perfect because once you start to cover here it's go all gonna be so and then you can use this piece to just cover the sides or you know if you want to cover the whole thing you just can add like a little bit of you know the paper here doesn't matter which which way we just glue there you know a little bit and you just make your tag like more kind of like covered with the paper you know so it just can be like anywhere like you know piece in piece piece a little bit here piece a little bit there it doesn't matter um you know it's just you're just doing the you know kind of decoupage kind of like so you're just like trying to cover by you you guys this gonna disappear pretty much when you're doing mixed media you know all this is gonna be like most of the design gonna go away i'm gonna be nice and not gonna cover this portion <laughs> because people say why you guys uh cover pretty paper i have a hard time covering pretty paper you know i agree uh we mixed media we don't kind of care much about we need to cover so that's why so let's just put this one there so what i'm doing here i'm creating creating like a little bit of you know dimension give it more so oh look this is like uh the first tag so we just did a bunch a bunch of uh for the second one we can just dab all over this a little team hold kind you know make a little vintage kind if you want if you don't like it don't do it it's up to you and this third one we can do the same thing here just do a little bit of a adding some this one we're gonna do plain we're gonna create our own design so it's gonna be fun um so yeah we're done with the cards and uh to be honest i'm gonna use one card pretending like kind this is um a big 12 by 12 let's do that so you guys know how to use look this is perfect so let's pretend this is one of those 12 by 12 pages that you guys have no idea what to do with them let's make mixed media with this one all right so we're done with this I'm just gonna find do this and just give me a minute i'm just trying to Yes, give me one second. Yes, okay. So, um, for the stamps and stuff, I use archive, archive, oh my gosh, I can't even talk, archival ink, which is like waterproof. So you can use any brand, um, it has to be a waterproof because with mixed media, we add too much spray and inks and stuff, and then going to destroy your project um, because, you know, going to wash down the whole thing. So let's clean up here a little bit. All right, so um, now we have kind of four surfaces to work. We're gonna do first this the stencil, okay? So we're gonna I'm gonna choose the little ones, uh, which is easy to work with them. So um, for that one, that's kind like uh, have a design or something. We're gonna use um, not gesso, but we're gonna use just a regular stencil with ink, like any ink can be any color, anything you guys want. Um, can be um, like um, paste, or you can mix like a uh, ink with the sand. Just be creative, okay? You just can do whatever you feel like. And then you can use those um, uh, dabbing um, kind uh, brushes. Uh, let's see if I have one to show. 
or you can use also a uh, sponge anything um, can be used to make this easier for you so let me just grab that one and um, this is a this is like a regular sponge you can do that one or let me see what else can I show you guys here I just want to like share a little bit of everything that I that I can't remember for now I want to see if I have any left yeah Okay, so I'm talking about this. This is also from scapybooking.com and then this is the Fina Bear Art Basics. Uh, so you can do, you know, like that or you can use this. You also can use those uh, facial makeup kind of sponge. And then if you cut them in pieces, you can do other kind of artwork. So what I'm going to do this little one first, the Michaels one. So you just put a little bit of ink there which is too much but i mean and then you can use this or the sponge so what you can do is just hold your stencil, stencil somewhere where you want the things and you're just gonna i know that you're not seeing anything right now but uh, once you start to put the ink you can use the color ones or white any color anything um the only difference with the ink is this doesn't have a dimension but it's still gonna look amazing, you know, it's like you adding a little uh, layer kind, uh, so yeah, it's pretty much like that. So if you do it color, of course, you're gonna have the color uh, design, but for now we're just gonna do white, but I want you guys uh, to see, I hope you guys can see it. So now we add, um, see, we just integrate like more uh, design in the tag right so that's for that one and we're gonna do the gesso on maybe this one we can add a little color there if you guys want so you can you can see the difference but for now we're just gonna do gesso in this one and that one too so now we're gonna change remember that you guys have to watch wash everything don't forget because if you don't wash you're just gonna lose if all your so for this uh one here which have the butterflies and stuff we're gonna do some wall wall work or kind of little bit of a um, gesso there so we're gonna use the wall here which is gonna be perfect for this kind of work and then i'm using the gesso like it's a heavy gesso um and uh, you can put this with the brush or with a uh, sponge or with the spatula okay so you can use the sponge the, the spatula or the brush for to apply uh, the gesso i'm gonna use the spatula since i already here so we're just gonna put the this there and just apply where you want the the wall the design to go remember they're gonna cover your design the, the one that's the the print that's underneath once you put the gesso here it covers everything if you are applying with the bl the brush is going to be the same thing you are just gonna do same same way see applying here the only thing the brush leaves a layer like a thin layer in the spatula gives a little bit of more uh, thick kind of like dimension so now we have a page with um, stencil we're gonna leave this here sideways to dry and then we're gonna do the same thing here we're gonna add some some of this beautiful kind of like flower somewhere but I just gonna use um, kind of like uh, a little bit here a little bit there look I'm just gonna do a different situation here now see I'm just gonna apply kind sides and leave a little bit thick in here 
and then I'm gonna apply like maybe there you can turn around and switch I'm just gonna get more I have no more no more gesso here so I'm just gonna apply another layer here it's gonna be like flowers here and there and last but not least we're gonna do again our beautiful the clean the one the plain one we're gonna do all the whole um you're gonna do the whole thing with um gesso too and then you're gonna create our own design for this one so once you're doing this remember that also gonna be a leftover on your your stencil so i'm gonna teach you guys a cool trick to have an extra piece of work something so you can do so this one is going to be this is beautiful before i show you guys i'm gonna just put on top of so i always keep like a plain paper uh, can be like a printer paper and then i put my tag um, before i show you this i put my tag my tag my stencil there and look what i do i just reuse whatever is left over look how much is still there i use everything that's left over every single thing if you can do the whole stencil i do it of course gonna be a little thin layer you know but i just reuse everything look uh we have a brand new um you know design and then of course you're gonna wash this and i'm gonna so do the same thing for the wall which i have left over here and then if not you can just grab, grab your ink the one that you have left over you can just apply here you know give some don't forget to use everything and we're gonna use some of um the leftover that's here on the other stencil um which is also not that much but i mean you always can grab a little bit more you know you add there just to finish and take advantage no don't don't miss anything don't just waste you know that's what i want to say don't waste your ink your stuff you can always can reuse for other projects so see i'm just taking everything so now we're gonna have two beautiful stamps on this okay we're gonna do something with this paper so we have the tag so this is the one that we use the gesso straight on the tag on top of the primer layer look at how beautiful this is the one that we cut the paper and we add some stains uh, um, some uh, gesso here and there just a few two locations this is our mini journaling page which was plain now we have a little wall here and then this is the one that we just sponge the uh, acrylic paint so we're gonna have to wait this to dry uh, you know uh, of course it's just um, the way it's supposed to be sometimes when it's a big canvas you wait one day um you know i have no patience unfortunately but i mean you can use the dryer like a dryer like this you know um some people's hair dryer is up to you i think this is more appropriate for the you can use the dryer um the thing is with gesso it can make bubbles so i wait like then dry not so yeah everything is dry now um even the paper and then the the you have you guys have to see how cool this uh, feels like how uh, you know uh, all cool and everything is beautiful so how about if you don't have any stencil at home you don't have anything to use you never bought any stencils at all so you can use your own one so if you have a die cut machine if you die cut you always have a stencil what are you talking about <laughs> so you know the leftovers you know the paper where you cut all your you know die cuts this is a stencil 
you just made one without even notice you know what i mean so you always cut these things and you have all this leftover uh, paper let me see if i can find a white one to show you guys how cool um i just want to make it get a little one so see the little one in white you know so my husband is the one that's cutting all the you know dye using the dye machine i hate <laughs> he's my assistant okay so when you have this you automatically have an stencil so you can use anywhere so let's use the one that has the wall we're gonna do some stencil here using this flower um this time i'm gonna do let's do some color let's add some color on that one let's do sponging so we're just gonna get the little ink um this time let's do the brush i put a lot of ink there sorry guys but i mean i'm not gonna waste it i swear i'm gonna show you a trick so everything is always a trick so now you can sponge this stencil that you now have without even know you can also put gesso here the only thing is this is not you know reusable of course you're gonna lose the paper not with the ink but with the gesso yes you know you can maybe reuse a couple of more times but that's pretty much it so what are you talking about look you just have an stencil at home without even know so we just did like a you know we could put gesso here too to do the dimension like suppose we can use those little this little uh, maybe here in this one we can do use this little leaf or thing and put apply gesso there um you know with the brush this time just to create some some dimension don't forget that you have to be gentle because this is a paper and it's not a, it's not a stencil it's not a uh, how do you call this paper this plastic i forgot the film or whatever so now we have here the leaf on the middle i don't think so you guys can see it but I mean, we may we use this to apply gesso, so you have your own stencil. The other thing you can do with this is also I'm just gonna apply one here on that paper that we've been using since I have some gesso left over, and then I have some ink. I'm just gonna apply here really quickly. What I'm doing this is just using the leftover ink that we have there, and I apply. I'm just gonna apply in a few places here maybe i'm just gonna do a new paper new white paper here and i'm just gonna apply some of the leftovers look just uh, giving some brushes strokes you can do a little bit of a we're just reusing whatever we have left over and um, let's do this one It's not gonna be perfect but we don't care i'm gonna explain why because for mixed media it doesn't need to be perfect we just wanted to have the ink somewhere and then also you can do this with the ink you can spread it like all over here and then you can use the paper to grab whatever leftover you have on the project see we just did something here and then i'll show you why don't worry about that one it's gonna be awesome when we finish what i just want to show you guys that we can lose it pretty much everything left over we never waste anything here that's what mixed media is all about um mixed media was we use pretty much things around the house old jewelry and a bunch of other things you know so so going back to our stencil here we also can cut like a portion of this you know like a, just a little piece and this can become another uh, thing that we're gonna use later i'll show you guys in a bit uh, now we can do some stamping so we're just gonna use our ink and then we're gonna pick a few cool cool stuff 
Uh, I'm just gonna use like a the wall. Where is it? Um, I'm gonna. I have one that was already open, but I'm just gonna get anything here, so it doesn't matter. So first of all, we're gonna use those uh, letters or writing. You're just gonna put them like uh, in different locations here. This is a uh, is one of my favorite stuff tools. So we're just gonna do like a few. Let's start with the white one, the blank. So we're just gonna apply stamps. See some random locations um, of your. You can be on top of the stencil. Don't worry about it. That's the point. You need to always use anywhere. So now we have a few cool stuff in here and there. Look how cool. And here too, for that one, we can be using those cling. Since we have some fashion, like a, this is like a design of accessories, like a purse and then some bags and stuff. Let's do the mannequin. How about that? It's like, let's suppose this is a, someone's closet, you know? So I'm just gonna use this cute mannequin vintage kind and we're gonna put them right there it's just gonna be right here this one the gesso is still a little wet so there you go look how cool see and then we can do some of all those, uh, you know, random. Let's do the key. Look how cool this key. And um, I have another one that's already here on the block. So I'm just going to put like a... I might going to just move it to this one for now. And then let's do... Let's leave the one for sideways and let's do this one that has this block and the circle here I think gonna be cool in this one look how awesome because it matches with the wall clock and stuff and um, going back to our lady the mannequin we're gonna put some butterflies and little things here and there so let's put the butterfly here and maybe another one you know just there it doesn't matter you know you just guys go keep going and let's do some of um where is the key uh, yeah there is a key here there you want to like maybe just put somewhere here look how cool this is getting so cool guys and for the one that's playing and just have the stencil flower let's do some fun fun kind of like i love this one love 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 you guys are gonna see why we're gonna use uh, pretty much the circles and then the bubbles whatever they call this with the butterflies and cool stuff so yeah it's gonna be amazing no matter what so i'm just gonna put them here and look i love this cool uh, round circles and stuff especially if you put next to another stamp look see how cool it's like they they kind pretty much match and you're just gonna keep going trying to make them and this one i can do here and i'm gonna do one there you can cover as much as you want you know don't 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 be concerned about covering um how about we add on this one that's kind of like missing some stuff we're gonna do our beautiful brick wall so it's gonna go here and grab some ink and just gonna go make that so I'm just gonna charge the battery while I'm talking to you guys before this thing die. Okay, so um yeah, so way with like a stamping, um 
is the easiest way to create a uh, texture kind of like I mean I mean like more dimension so let's keep it going with the just gonna get this beautiful butterfly I'm just gonna I'm trying to do all together here guys I'm sorry if it's too much if you guys are you know cannot follow but I mean it's just like uh, if you can see this is gonna be like a little here and there I'm trying to use the same stamps all, all over the place um, and give those you know I'm gonna just do one more here. So how cool the circles are together with the other items and you keep going, adding more. Let's see what else do we have. I like these flowers and these things, so I'm just gonna do this little flower. I actually um, don't forget guys to clean up all your stamps uh, it's really important to keep them very clean so I'm just gonna do uh, this one like just here look how cool you know and maybe one here too since this flower is so cool I'm just can add there too I think we had enough um, just a little bit of more like um, like maybe letters or something like change a little bit for this one This one gonna be cool too. It's I think it's the messy look if I'm not mistaken, but it's also cool. I'm gonna add a little bit there and a little bit here and um, some of here too. And then now I think we're good because you know. So see how much we change the pictures and stuff. Oh yeah, let's not forget to add some of the these letters and stuff in here too. Maybe here, a little bit. Mm, here too. Let's continue this line. Here we go. I think we're good now. So yeah, so it's always like to make sure you guys wipe everything clean, you know. So let's um, move on with this a little bit. I'm just going to put there for now. And remember those two papers that we have. Uh, the ones with the stencil part. So it's going to stamp there a little bit too. Let's find something cool to put in there I was thinking maybe just do this beautiful butterfly on that one that has the flowers okay so let's see here I'm just gonna do right there there you go and maybe some of this um also messy kind right in here yep for now just a little bit and here we can do let me do this upside down because i see some Oh no, this is has to be like this because the wall is just here. So I was thinking to go um with where is the uh, cute this one? 
Maybe we're gonna do this one here. There was another one, but I mean for now. So this is the bird cage with some music notes and stuff. So maybe we can do this as a That's cool. Yep. And this one we're gonna keep doing, keep using the inks until we fill this, uh, fill this paper with a lot of inks. So we can do some other cool stuff with that one. So yeah, try to wipe everything baby wipes or Clorox, uh, Clorox wipes also do it do the trick maybe it's even better because it removes all the ink and you, you don't need to worry about anything so when I am doing mixed media I most of the times sometimes most of the time I mean I plan what to do whatever I'm going to use or you know um, so for this one I need to show you guys how to make your own dye tool because we don't want to um, spend all the money buying dyes and you know so that's what we're gonna do here we're gonna do uh, make some of our own stuff Remember that beautiful flower that I was telling you guys, this one? So we're going to use this as our dye and maybe incorporate in one of our, our stuff that we already make in here. But I just want to show you guys that you can create your own dye too. You know, you don't need to. So let's see. I'm just going to do this way. I should get the I'm gonna show you guys something because this is not appropriated I should use the block yeah hold on a minute you can do uh, use the block uh, the one that we are using just now for things like this because they are too large and then it's hard to manage using this the the stamp so let me get let me show you this thing that I bought at scrapbooking.com this uh, is the Misty. Um, it's pretty much that uh, very cool tool that you can put your uh, paper here. Let's do the other side. Of course, and then you put the stamp there. Let's measure kind of like. And then you kind of stamp it. Make sure it's all covered with the stamp. This is actually doing the work of the large block. I have the block, which you guys just saw me using it, but I just bought this because I want to have more. So, and then you pretty much go there and kind do this. So, it helps apply and look perfect. You guys see the difference? I just didn't put too much ink on it, but I mean, it's pretty much more, you know, like the way it's supposed to be. So we're going to make our own dye using this. We're going to cut this flower. we also going to use um, the large lady, beautiful princess here. is beautiful so let's go and use her she's huge so since I already have the ink here so let's just use her as our uh, next project since we're doing stamping this time I'm gonna be more generous on the ink and of course you're gonna use another paper not this one
I have so many papers, guys, that is ready to <laughs> to become something cool <laughs> that I don't even know. So let's put the paper here. I'm just gonna use this side and yeah, voila. Okay. Oops. See, this is the good thing about if you don't get enough pressure. You can still go back and fix it. That's what I love about this tool. So yeah, she's pretty cute. Oh, MG, so cute, cute. So yeah, that's what I want to show you guys. This is kind of the large, replace the large block. So now we have our princess here to work. And let's do more dies. Let's do a stamp a little bit more so we can create more dies here. Let's do this large butterfly and then the circles uh, so you can get get some extra extra things to work on our tags so I'm just gonna do a bunch of this and then I'm gonna do the big butterfly create my own die that cut you know I don't like to buy a lot of things you guys kind of like probably know by now I always improvise and like to color and do my own stuff what else do I have that's cool I'm just using the new ones okay guys because I want to just show you guys what I got and how they look this is a cool bird cage so let's do that one too perfect and what else what else what else let's do this this is pretty cool Some of them are gonna leave uh, black and white. I love to leave black and white stuff with the background that we have. It create that vintage and dimension like a look. So yeah, I think it's pretty good. We have enough to, to play with. So now we're gonna work on color, which is gonna be the next step. And then adding flowers and dimension. So now we have all the tags, our paper, we have these two leftover stencil with the stamp tool. We have this that we're going to see working, not done yet. The beautiful princess and all, all the die cuts that we're going to make with this. So yeah, so this is um, probably going to be video number one, which we, we talk about this stamp and stencils um so now we're gonna finish this and i'll see you guys on our video number two where i'm gonna show you guys all the inks and acrylic paints and lindy's gang magicals and what else can you use from home you know you don't need to buy the fancy stuff to finish the tags um give more you know dimension and then also you see all the scrapbooking.com items that i got the second the second portion of it so i'll see you guys in a bit thank you guys so much i really appreciate it please subscribe and like if you like thank you i'll see you next time bye